Hey, what is up high levelers? In today's video, we're gonna see how to set up custom email templates for proposals and estimates in Go High Level. So let's jump straight into it and see how we can set it up. All right, so in your Go High Level account, click on payments and then proposals and estimates. As you can see, it's a new feature, so just click on that. And then you'll get a couple of options. One is to create a new estimate or proposal, or you could go to the settings. So just click on the settings for now. So right now under email template, you can see it has selected the default template and this is what the default template looks like. Now this is good for starters, but our goal is to customize it as per our brand and then send it for our own proposals and estimates. In order to do that, we're going to create our own custom email template and then switch it out here with the default one. So let's head over to marketing and under emails, we're going to choose templates. Now on the right side, click on the new button here and you can either start with a blank template or you can choose from some really awesome email marketing templates that Go High Level already has for you. Now you can choose the templates of your liking. I'm just going to head over to marketing agency here and then I'm going to go with this one right here. All right, once the template is ready, it will load up in a few seconds. The first thing you can do is, of course, switch out the logo with your own brand. I'm just going to select this dummy one right here and then adjust the width a little bit so it looks better. If you do 220 width and just take out the height, it looks nice and simple. And of course, you can customize the wording throughout the template. Now to make this email more like an invoice or a proposal email, I'm just going to add some text here. So let's drag that here under our main headline. And then I'm just going to get rid of the heading here and then paste this script. So let's do that under client's name. We're of course going to add the custom value. So we will do contacts first name and then you can add in your customized text. Now towards the end, I'm going to add this line which says, please find the proposal for and here you can do a pretty cool thing. If you click on custom values and scroll all the way down, you'll see the proposals tab here. Just click on that and then you can say name. So now we have, please find the proposal for document name. So let's say you named your document digital marketing services, right? So this would be pretty cool because it would say, please find the proposal for digital marketing services, right? So that means if you create multiple proposals and estimates, you don't have to switch out the document every single time. It will customize it every single time and save you tons of time. Now, the last thing we want to do is replace this button here and I'm going to add the document URL here because what we want to do is when they click on this button, it should take them to the proposal or the estimate. So in order to do that, let's first customize the text of this button. So I'm going to click on this and then in the button text, we're going to say, see invoice, right? And then you can say it says link URL. So what we can do here is click on this little tag here and then under proposals, we're going to select proposals URL. And this will basically ensure that the customer gets the proposal or the estimate every single time they click on that button. Now you can also customize the other parts of the email. I don't need it right now because it's a basic email. So I'm just going to get rid of these bits here and then just keep the footer. Now, before you hit save template, we're going to click on these three dots here and then click on settings because this will basically allow us to set the from name, from email, as well as the preview text and subject. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Under email subject, you can see I've used the first name hyphen proposal for document name. And this is again, if we use the proposals custom field here, it will make it really easy for them to see, okay, I received a proposal for let's say marketing services, right? And it will, it will customize every single time you change out the name. So that's pretty cool. Now, once you're satisfied, go ahead, click on save here. So it saves the settings and then we're going to hit on save template. Now let's head back and go to payments again, and then proposals and estimates. And then again, settings here. Now, the last time we were here, we had a default template selected for proposals and estimates. So let's go ahead, click on that drop down and select the pulse marketing template. This is the one we just set up. And once you're done with that, click on save. Now, this will ensure that every time you send out a proposal or an estimate, it will use the new customized template, not the default one. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so this is how it looks pretty cool. It looks very branded and very professional as well. And this is exactly how you can customize templates as per your own brands and then send it as proposals and estimates. So that was all about customizing email templates for proposals and estimates. I hope you liked this video and do check this feature out by Go High Level.